I'm Erica Ullman Sapphire. I'm a professor at the Scripps Research Institute and the director of the VIC, the Viral Hemorrhagic Fever Immunotherapeutic Consortium. My lab focuses on two families of viruses, those like Ebola and those like Lassa. And what's fascinating about them, particularly for us structural biologists, is how simple they are. That you and I have 20,000 genes in our genome, but Ebola only seven and Lassa only four. Yet those four proteins contribute at least 60 or 70 functions in the virus life cycle that we know about, and I'm sure there's more that we don't know about. So they're able to do more with less. The reason we work so hard to solve these structures, you know, five years for the first Ebola structure and 10 for Lhasa, is because of the power of that molecular analysis to be a roadmap to go and do something useful, right? We're not gonna put all this effort into solve the structure, throw it in the PDB, color it green, say it's curly, walk away. Right, we're gonna use this structure. What is the structure telling us about how the virus gets in? Where are its vulnerabilities? Is that structure showing us its Achilles heel? Is that structure showing us how to craft a molecule to be a better vaccine? Every one of these bodies of work by one of the talented young scientists in my lab opens a door to say, here's the roadmap, now we can use it. And so this is a, a global collaboration to understand what kinds of antibodies are effective against these viruses and why. A flagship project is the one against Ebola virus, where we gathered 200 monoclonal antibodies against the glycoprotein from 43 labs around the world. And they all come in to my lab where they're blinded, they're all given code names. And then we ship identical box sets of the world antibodies out for collaborative analysis. Anybody who has a specialty of understanding a certain feature about an antibody, whether it's neutralization or escape or structure, they've done it on the same box set so we could compare antibodies. So we get the most systematic and comprehensive data set yet available for antibodies to tease out what is it that leads to protection? How do we find antibodies like this faster? And what are the best therapies the world can make given what we have together in this pool? Because we started with an agnostic idea that we just don't know what leads to protection, we're gonna run every antibody for every experiment and see what shakes out at the end, we actually found a big pool of antibodies that deliver protection in living things in the absence of any good neutralization in the cell culture models. And that suggests there's something that we didn't know before, we didn't know what to look for before. So we're trying to develop those kinds of assays with Galit, Alter, and others that help us harness the power of the immune system to clear the pathogen and improve protection and understand what we can learn from that to engineer onto the neutralizing antibodies to improve therapy. 